In Newton's first law, objects will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted on by an external force. So we know that changes in motion are caused by forces. So, Newton's second law allows us to predict how much motion changes based on the size of the net force and the object's mass. This is very useful for designing cars, boats, planes, rockets, satellites, and, well, anything that has motion. Newton's second law can be summed up as F net equals MA, a little equation, where F net equals the net force. And you already know how to determine this by adding all the forces up that are acting on an object. The M is the mass of the object in kilograms. The bigger the object, the harder it is to change its motion, also considered inertia. And A is the acceleration, which is a way to describe the change in motion. At this point, let's look at the relationship generally. So, force changes motion. Well, we already knew that from Newton's first law. If you want to change the motion of an object, you do need a net force. But, Newton's second law also tells us that the bigger the force, the bigger the change in motion. If F net is larger, then A is larger. So, if we push harder, we get things changing their motion more quickly. That makes sense. So, what else does Newton's second law tell us? F equals MA. So, what about the mass M in there? Well, it's saying that the bigger the mass, the more difficult it is to change its motion. So, if you apply the same force to two objects, and one is more massive than the other, well, then the smaller object is going to have a bigger change in motion than the larger object. And that makes sense. If you have a bigger object, you're going to need a bigger force to get it moving. In this tutorial, we looked at Newton's second law and recognized that it's an extension of his first law. It can be summarized as F net equals MA. The bigger the net force, the bigger the change in motion, A. Also, the bigger the mass, the smaller the change in motion, given the same force. 